Hi, I'm John Batham. This is Trailers from Hell. We're talking about Julius Caesar, the 1953 version directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz. Now, most trailers tell you a lot about a movie. This one tells you absolutely nothing about the movie. It's a great misleader. I mean, here we have the great Shakespearean drama Julius Caesar, and what they're trying to sell you is an action movie. It's kind of like uh, if you said that Frost Nixon was really about Transformers in human form. So we think trailers can be great fun, but when the studio doesn't know how to sell the movie, they can make a real mess of a great film. Now, if you didn't know anything about Shakespeare's Julius Caesar and you saw this trailer, you'd think you were gonna see an action movie. You'd have been really shocked to find out there was junk like poetry and old-fashioned language. I mean, you have to know the producers were scared to death to let on what the movie was really about. Now, who would guess from this trailer that it contains one of the most brilliant performances by an actor ever seen on film? And when Marlon Brando was announced for the role of Mark Antony, the critics went wild with cynicism. I mean, they got months of columns out of making fun of Brando's mumbling style of acting, massacring Shakespeare, they called it. And they figured that Joseph L. Mankiewicz, who the Oscar-winning director of All About Eve, had lost it. Well, anyway, the joke was on them because Brando's performance outshines all the others. The sheer brilliance of Brando's interpretation made clear the cleverness of Mark Antony turning the Roman mobs against Caesar's assassins. So school children everywhere who have to study Julius Caesar owe a debt of gratitude to both Mankiewicz and Brando for making this great play so accessible to a modern audience.